What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome to the guide for the GTO. This is the prohibited dream story. If you're here just for the solid information, nothing else, gonna watch how to get a step and then do the step and then watch the next. The time codes are in the description. Check those out and you'll be able to see them on the YouTube bar as well. If you're here for more of a chill experience, you're ready for a long drive, what I do is I tell you the story. I, I audibly describe the story, talk about it, explain it while you're driving. And then I'll tell you when to pause and then you can wait till the next step every time. So you actually get a little cruise in, you get to know the story instead of just driving for no reason. And here we are. So let's go into it. Step one, steel forge plant. Find the car construction plant in the steel forge plant in Detroit. Detroit is in the top right of the map. If you go here into the bottom right of Detroit, you'll see the steel forge plant area. And on the left of that area is this building with the billboard on it. You can see as I zoom out a more accurate representation. I teleported to this Rallycross event to begin. I used the Senna for this story, which releases June 1st. That's when you'll be able to buy the Senna. But yes, this is where you're going. Step 2. House on the Lake. Travel from Detroit to this house in Lower Peninsula with any ground vehicle. Just before I show you this, obviously, do remember to subscribe with notifications on. I'm not going to bother you too much. Check out some of my other content when you're done. But yes, carrying on with the guide. The left lower of Detroit is Lower Peninsula. Zoom into it and in the lower area of Lower Peninsula is this river that I'm in. And this red building is the one you're going to. So we got two story steps to talk about here and not a lot of time. Step one was father was proud of his work in a car construction plant in South Detroit near the steel forge plant. Education was cruel to him. After school, he'd tutor me in his office. I love seeing the cars. That was step one. So that's the plant you are driving from right now. Father always worked mama, which is not a word I would, mum always, mum and uh, I holidayed just outside Motor City in a house on the le on Lake Michigan at night. I'd look out across the water at the lights of Chicago. Did father interact with kids there? Did fathers interact with kids there? Oh, did fathers interact with kids there? Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Okay, so it's a father who's always really busy in the um in the construction plant area and we're kind of lonely with our mother right now in the house you're going to at the moment. So have a good rest of your drive. It's a quick one. So, you know, feel free to pause now. Step three, building in Brush Park. Travel from Lower Peninsula, which is west of Detroit, to the building located in Brush Park, north of Detroit. This one simple, zoom in to the top of Detroit. The Detroit area, zoom into the top and eventually you'll see three buildings. One orangey yellow one and two grey ones. Your waypoint goes to the orangey yellow one. Now you don't actually start in Lower Peninsula, so your waypoint will be telling you to go one way, you go the opposite way, the north way. And then wait till you get to this dirt road right around the corner. Go into the dirt road slightly, turn around and you've collected your in Lower Peninsula. Now you can just drive to the next location. So step three, at the moment we're kind of sad, we've got a father who works and we live with our mum on the, on the coast looking into Chicago. We lived in North Detroit. Oh, oh, so we went on a holiday, right? We went on a holiday to the west of Detroit. Uh, in the brush, 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 I don't know, park area. I'd always be at the window hoping to see father test drive a prototype down our street. Like when he was developing the Gran Turismo Omologato, which is probably a car. Gran Turismo Omo Logato is a... Uh, well, I see the GTO, which is the one from this story. 
Oh, wait, no, it's like a Ferrari of some kind. That's kind of cool that the crew references that car. I, I hope Ferrari's okay with them referencing that car. Uh, but yeah, so where you're going right now is where we actually live. Not the, that, that was like the holiday home. So uh, that's about it for that. Good luck on the rest of your drive. Feel free to pause. Step four, speed drone. Travel from Detroit to this parking space next to Little Eagle Speed Drome, which is north of St. Louis. Little Eagle Speed Drome is the oval track that is below roughly Chicago, and the area you're looking for is to the left, on the left side of Little Eagle Speed Drome. It's on the right of the exit, it's the parking lot there. Also, you can get a head start if you teleport to either Detroit Hypercar or Steel Forge Plant Drift Race, which is what I teleported to. There you go. So, hopefully this is where the actual story begins. I ditched school one day, oh, uh, to secretly follow father. He, I'm just gonna say dad, I don't know. Uh, he was testing that future American classic, the Pontiac GTO at Little Eagle Speed Drome. I was spotted, punished, grounded, but oh so proud of him. That's kind of cute, I guess. I mean, we snuck out and went dangerously far from home and, you know, it's really... Okay, uh, d I do not recommend, however, you know, I guess it's kind of cool that it happened. I, I don't know. <laughs> Does the game want me to think it's cool or... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, that's what you're driving to right now. So you're heading to Little Eagle Speed Drone, which, fun fact, doesn't have a single actual, like, race, a, t a touring car race on, which uh, I believe it did in the Crew 1, but yeah, doesn't here. Feel free to pause. Step 5, the Ferris Wheel. Travel from Little Eagle Speed Drome, which is northeast of St. Louis, to the Ferris Wheel near Navy Pier in Chicago. It's rather obvious if you zoom into Chicago, there's a pier that comes out of it, and when you zoom into that pier, you'll find Navy Pier. Well, the pier that has the Ferris Wheel. That's where you set your waypoint. However, you are not currently at Little Eagle Speed Drome, so when you set off, make sure you go into the entrance of Little Eagle Speed Drome slightly, so it counts it, and then go from there. So we snuck out, so I don't know why we're at a, a fair right now, I thought we were grounded. Was he proud of my determination? When the GTO launched in a fair in Chicago near the water plant, he took me along. Fathers do interact with their kids there. <laughs> Interesting observation. <laughs> Uh, he even introduced me to the famous designer of the GTO. Okay, well that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, yeah, we obviously snuck out to see him driving and testing the GTO, and then when it actually released, uh, we got to go to the fair, I suppose, and we met the designer of it. Uh, are we fans of the GTO or fans of our dad? What's going on here, you know? <laughs> well, you're heading down to the pier, the, the, the pier, yes, the... In fact, the first time I filmed this, I didn't start a little legal speed run. I had to do this trip twice because I missed my uh, start. So I hope you didn't do the same thing. Uh, <laughs> if you're listening to this, you're watching the thing fully through, so I, I'd assume so. But good luck with that drive and feel free to pause. Step 6, office in Nashville. Travel from Chicago to American Petrol's building in Nashville, which is northwest of Miami. Nashville is a hard spot, so I'm really zoomed out here. Here's where Nashville is. Above New Orleans, far above it. Nashville is here, and when you zoom in, it's quite obvious which is the American Petrol building. It's this one. So your waypoint goes right there, and you can set off from exactly where you are currently.
Okay, so this is a bit of a jump. That was our only together time. Fa oh, father died six months later. I never got an education working for American Petrol in Nashville. I never got an education working for American Petrol in Nashville. Uh, and still, and I still try to secretly follow father. I'm obsessed by the GTO. Well, that's a massive shame. But hey, we're we're living on his memory. We're we're in love with the GTO, I suppose. And yeah, uh, we work at American Petrol, which working for a uh, an oil company can't pay the worst. So you're heading down to Nashville, which is rather far from home. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the drive. I think I remember this one being a bit of a long one, but I'm not sure. Um, I will let you go on the drive now. You're heading to where our main protagonist character works. Feel free to pause. Step 7. Oceans Road in Daytona. Travel from Nashville, which is northeast of Miami, to the avenue along the ocean in Daytona, which is north of Miami. Daytona is on the coast, so just zoom into when you find Daytona and it's at the very bottom right. It's the most bottom right intersection. That's where you set your waypoint and set off. Okay, here we go. I got all competitions with GTOs. I go to all competitions with GTOs, be it big official NASCAR races or illegal contests, like this one on the avenue do along the ocean in Daytona. And every night I look out across the water. Father. I mean, that's kind of nice, I guess. We're going to illegal street races and, and races with the GTO and anything including the GTO, I suppose, which is nice. I mean, I... Hmm, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not really sure on this one so far. We're, we're at step seven, so hey, things can change. Uh, I guess we're going to learn how this continues, and presumably we get a GTO for ourselves at some point. So let's see. Feel free to pause. Step eight. Parking in North Miami. Travel from Daytona, which is north of Miami, to this parking lot in North Miami. If you zoom into the top of Miami, you'll see these houses surrounded by a lot of water. That's North Miami. Zoom into the left of it on the land area where there's this billboard. That is the parking lot. Now this one is a very quick one, I think like less than a two minute drive for me. In a parking lot in North Miami, I did it. I bought my own GTO, an early model. I dreamt father might have checked it on the assembly line. I hoped he could be at some window watching me drive off. Now oh, that's sweet, we got a GTO. So that's actually where you're heading right now. You're heading to where this guy buys his GTO. So. Four steps left of presumably diddling about in our GTO here, which will be nice. It's in the memory of his late dad. So have fun in your drive to uh, Miami. Like I said, it was it was a fairly quick one because it's North Miami and we're in Daytona. It's basically like a straight long road from Daytona to the very top of Miami. So good luck with that and feel free to pause. Step 9. Hidden Garage. Travel from Miami to the Hidden Garage in Norfolk, which is southeast of Washington, D.C. Norfolk is right near Washington, D.C. This town right here that goes into the tunnel, and at the bottom right, you'll find the Hidden Garage. To get a head start, I teleported to stage 3 of the U.S. Speed Tour, and then you just drive down the road and you'll be in Miami. Another pretty quick one at only like a three minute mark for my drive at least. In Norfolk in a hidden garage close to the harbour. I had then so... 
soap it up? I had them soap it up. Okay, yeah, they cleaned it. They tweaked that engine until I sounded like until it sounded like the prototype father tested back at Little Eagle Speedrome. I had a plan, you see. T making something sound like a prototype. That sounds I don't <laughs> like am I am I wrong in thinking that's like saying, yeah, I upgraded it to behave like it did before it released, you know, it, it, or like an unfinished version. Step 10, Long Island Speed Drive. Travel from Norfolk, which is southeast of Washington DC, to the bridge in Long Island Speed Drive, which is east of New York. It's obvious once you see it in the top right of New York is this very, like, it's two circles. It's like a Venn diagram. Zoom into that and you want to ping just before the bridge so your waypoint actually works. Okay, so we souped this uh, GTO up. I can only assume we're going here to test it, right? I entered underground street races. Ooh, cheeky. I lost, crashed, hurt myself, but thought father would be proud of me. F for illegal street racing? <laughs> uh, and my determination. My first win was at the abandoned Long Island Speedrome, east of New York. Is it abandoned? I didn't know it was abandoned. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> I guess we're, yeah, racing at the abandoned Long Island Speed Drone. Well, that's where you're heading right now. You're racing, you're racing your way to the Long Island Speed Drone where our protagonist man crashes. And it seems this makes up for those short drives. This one's a bit of a long one, like um, four minutes or so. So yeah, good luck with the drive and uh, feel free to pause. Step 11, Diners Parking. Travel from New York to the Diners Parking lot near Tampa Bay Bridge entrance, which is west of Miami. If you zoom into this area of Miami, there's a bridge over the water here, and you go to the top, the north side of the bridge, at this little diner, where that's where you want to set your waypoint. You can also get a head start by teleporting to USB Tour Stage 1 that will put you even closer while still meeting the restrictions. Okay, here we go. We've been beaming around in our GTO. Many victories followed. Today, I'm scheduled for the famed Tampa Bay Bridge quarter mile race. Through the window, I see the drivers gathering in the diner's parking lot to next to the bridge's entrance. So, we're doing a little race in Tampa Bay Bridge. This is the second to last one. Okay, so, let's see how this goes. I, I can imagine we're winning a bit of money here, surely, doing this underground racing and whatnot. Especially, as it seems, that it's been going out for a while now. But yeah, that's where you're driving to. You're driving to Tampa Bay Bridge, the diner next to it, to get ready for this quarter mile drag race. This one's a long one, so feel free to pause. Step 12, garage in Nashville. Travel from Tampa, which is west of Miami, to this garage in Nashville, which is northeast of Miami. So, you remember where Nashville was, right? Zoom in back to Nashville, which is there, and in the bottom right is this set of houses on some dirt roads. There's a slightly redder one with a big red crate. That's the crate, that's the house, set your waypoint there. So the final step we've been diddling about in our GTO that we made after in, in memory of our late father, but I'm not going. I I'll never find father here, but I'm not going. I'll never, but I'll, I'll never find father here. Education was cruel to him. So it's back to school. I'll drop the GTO in my garage in Nashville in hopes I'll see some enthusiast driving it dad's car okay so it's like what oh so i assume he doesn't want 
to always be illegal street racing, I guess, and wants to finish his education and, and be something big. So yeah, we're going and dropping, presumably in the house we lived in while we worked in Nashville. So that's where it is. That's why there's this big red crate. So enjoy your GTO as you get to it. It's got a pretty cool animation, this one. Feel free to pause. And there it is, the Pontiac GTO. I hope you boys did enjoy watching. That's about it from me. Thank you to popular members, a special thank you to famous members, and an insane, insane thank you to icon members, Corey Brown and Dustin for the love of life. My video on the GTO will be out in two days, my video customizing and playing with it, and tomorrow is another Big Santa video. So I'll see you boys in the next one in a bit. <laughs>